Okay. Oh okay. Thumbs up. Okay. Can we please rise for the uh, Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This meeting is called to order at 7 o'clock. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Bon Crooks? Here. Benedetti? Here. Howie? Lefevre? Here. Perugi? Here. Rizepa? Stack? Here. Quorum President, Mayor Stack? Um, Councilman uh, Rizepa said that he'd be a little bit late. Uh, so, motion to excuse. Uh, excuse uh, Councilman Howie and Howie. Uh, Councilman yeah. Rizepa? Yeah, Does everybody have their microphones on? Mm -hmm. no. Okay. So, so uh, motion made to, to excuse Councilman Howie. It's been vote. moved and supported. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Next um, item on the agenda is our minute approval for October 21st, 2019 regular meeting. That would so move. Support. It's been moved and supported. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Next item on the agenda is uh, presentations, and it'll be f in regarding the Cultural Center Community Garden. I should say gardens, with S. Okay. Somebody make a, a motion. We'll make a motion. Support. It's been uh, moved and supported. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. And Mr. Rogalski um, is going to go over what's been going on at our garden. So we're going to move to the side here because we've got our screen. Our new screen. Good. Is that it? Yes, it is. What happened to the other one? <laughs> the other one was um, split even yellow and <laughs> black and stuff. Can somebody hit the lights, Tomato please? Um, nope, you know what? Oh, you We're know going to have the ones over there, one. Timber. I could do it. You need to turn the other ones on, probably, in the back. There you go. Okay. Perfect. All right. Looks good. Is your Can microphone I on there? Is it got a green light? Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you, Mayor, for inviting me today to um, give you an update on the Trenton Community Garden. <clears throat> this garden is, uh, we just completed its 10th year of operation, and we grow um, organically grown vegetables for the local food pantries. One thing I want to emphasis, emphasize is that this is not a big garden. As you can see here in the parking lot, you can count like the width of this garden is only like five um, parking spaces wide. That's 40 feet and it's 100 feet long. <coughs> so what I'm showing you here is the 10 year uh, harvest uh, <coughs> from this garden. Um, we started out in 2010 with about 3,000 pounds. But as years gone on, we've learned more about growing vegetables, trying different varieties, better able to control pests. And so this year, we went out with a bang. We, we harvested 8,625 pounds of vegetables. Great job. When we started out, and when we were only harvesting 3,000 pounds, we delivered to the Trenton Towers uh, senior co-apartments 
and St. Philip's in Trenton. So those were the only two sites we delivered to. Um, so that was about 65 families that were served. <clears throat> and um, later on, as years gone, you know, say uh, after year four or five or so, we just grew too much uh, produce, and so we added St. Cyprian's in uh, Riverview. This year, however, we swamped all three of these um, sites. So we added the Flat Rock uh, Community Lutheran Church Food Pantry <clears throat> and the First Congregational Church uh, Gibraltar Food Pantries. Um, so the total family served on average is about 210 families per week. Um, so even there were even a couple times that given these even with these five pantries we exceeded the their capacities and the food was just forwarded on to other pantries the retail value of the 2019 crop um, it was about thirty two thousand four hundred dollars the retail value of the crops for all 10 years of operation comes to about $211,000. This garden is, has amazing productivity. And when I talk about productivity, I mean the number of pounds we're growing in a square foot. Um, we, we averaged um, something like 2.1 pounds per square foot in, um, uh, that was 2017. And we compared it to another garden uh, in Westland, a very similar type of operation. And they were growing 0.11 pounds per square foot. And I thought that was a little bit low, so I looked up some numbers in, from Rutgers University. And they did a study and solicited um, productivity from, from these kinds of mixed vegetable gardens. And they came up with a range of 0.2 to 1.3 pounds per square foot. And the most commonly reported value was a half a pound per square foot. So even with Rutgers University's data, we are, we are far exceeding expectations. So um, let me put this another way. In 2017, we grew 6,400 pounds in our 3,300 square foot garden. And the same amount was grown in DTE Energy's farm, which is 64,000 square feet. Uh, this year, we harvested 8,625 pounds, and our productivity was 2.6 pounds per square foot. So just some pictures of some um, uh, early spring tilling and some late spring harvest of lettuce. Um, these are some shots from this summer. Um, the garden's well on its way, doing, looking very good. We received a lot of comments that the garden was looking really good this year, <laughs> and <laughs> the numbers prove it. Um, harvest gar harvest uh, garlic on the left in July, and then a, um, again a late, sp late spring, early summer photo on the right. Um, we received the um, Community Landscape Beautification Award this year. Um, this was through statewide competition. Um, many of us know that these gardens at the Culture Center are true gems of the city. And um, it was nice that a group, uh, an outside group, recognized this also as a valuable asset to the city. Um, that concludes my presentation. Any questions? It was a great job. Very nice. Oh, Very yeah. nice. Okay. Kyle. Thank you, Mayor. Councilman Lefevre? Do you, do you change the crops every year, or the, basically the same crops down there? Generally, we grow the same crops. We grow something like 40 different varieties of okay. vegetables. Yep. So it's a mixed, it's a mixed crop. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it truly is amazing you're growing that much food there. Really. Mm -hmm. They drive by, it's, uh, you know. What did you ever do with those two rabbits that uh, Timber dropped off at the garden? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was Timber. It was me. <laughs> Thanks, Timber. I can blame for everything. <laughs> Trust me. 
No, you did a great job, yeah, Ken. That's to you, Debbie Barnes and all you guys. It's just amazing what you do. And that's my, you. One of my, it's my favorite place in the city is the cultural center, so I just love it. You know, we, we see a lot of people visit it, not just on the special event days, but just any day. Um, I, oh, I there's a lot that. of people coming in there with families and just sure coming through, looking, you know, asking questions. Yeah. Thanks for all you guys do yeah, because thank you. it's a big asset to the community and surrounding communities. Really appreciate it, I'm yeah. sure. Thank you. Scott Pruji? Yes. Uh, how, have you determined how you've been able to four times the crop size compared to everybody else? Um, one I thing think it was the, the black walnut tree we got rid of. Yeah, you know, <laughs> this year there, I'm thinking that the black walnut tree may have may have had a suppressive effect on the entire garden. Um, we couldn't grow tomatoes near that black walnut at all. Mm -hmm. But I th I'm thinking that some of the other, a lot of the other crops were held back too. I think you got one more over there, but it's on personal property, so we can't very well. I think it's somebody oh. has a one of those type no, trees over there. I so. think that helped a lot. Yeah. Well, nice job. Oh. So, thank you. Anybody else? Well, thank you again, and thank you to all. Uh, I we call them garden angels. Uh, all of you have helped out with all that, and uh, it's been a was a great year for harvesting. That it looks like so. Thank you again. Okay, thank you. It is loud. There's a couple of um, churches that um, in the in the future, I don't know if you've been able to, because I see you have other churches that you've added, but um, um, South Point Church has a um, food pantry, mm -hmm. and I think St. Paul's does too, but I don't know how many people come. I, I, the one at South Point, there's quite a few people that come, but they might have somebody that has a garden that they're, you know, growing for, but I'm just kind of making a suggestion Yeah, Yeah, they, they distribute food on... Wednesday evening, and it's kind of hard for us to match that schedule. Sure, sure. Um, so, um, but in the yeah. future, if you you know if you think of it, maybe you yeah. can um, contact them. Maybe they have somebody that can come pick it up or something. You know. Okay. So, thank All you right. very. Thank you again. That was a great yeah. presentation. Thank right. you. Thank you. Okay. Um, next time on the agenda is um, I'd like to make an appointment to the Historical Commission. It's for Jeff Wagger for a term expiring November November first, two thousand twenty-two. I would so move. Support. It's been moved and supported. Is there any discussion? Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? <coughs> Benedetti. Yes. Lefevre. Yes. Perucci. <coughs> yes. Stack. Abstain. Juan Crooks. Yes. Motion carried, Mayor Stack. Thank you very much. Next item on the agenda is for our uh, Mayor Pro Tab, Councilman Lefevre, um, 33rd District Court. Thank you, Mayor. Make a motion that we receive and place in the file the fines, costs, and fees for September of 2019, which shows the city of Trenton in a check for $6,680.48. Support. It's been moved and supported. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Next item again, uh, Mayor Pro Tem, please. Yeah, my next motion to receive and place on file the court technology quarterly payment. Uh, we receive a check for $29,528. Of this money, I believe $15,624 uh, was designated for Trent. Okay. Hmm. Any to support? Support. It's been moved and supported. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Okay, next item on the agenda is from our Trenton High School um, crew team, Bobble and Scrap Metal Drive <coughs> request. Madam Clerk, could you please take that? Yeah, can I go back? How much did Bill say yeah. was designated to us? 5,552, five is that what you read? Mm -hmm. That's what I have. Yep. Did you have that? Did I, did I say that? Mm hmm Okay, fine. That's on. Yeah, okay. Okay, I just want to make sure. Yeah. All right, thank you. You're welcome. <coughs> okay, the Trenton High School crew team is looking for permission to conduct a bottle and scrap metal drive collection in the city of Tre Trenton, distributing flyers on Saturday, March 21st, 2020, and Friday, April 3rd, 2020, and collecting the bottles and scrap metal on Saturday, March 28th, and Saturday, April 18th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. This would be under adult supervision and the direction of the police department and it's pending civic commission approval. Court. 
I need somebody to make a motion so first. So moved. Support. It's been moved and supported. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Next item on the agenda is our city administrator for the DCC DMA annual membership dues. Um, Mr. Church. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, as you indicated, uh, this item is a request to renew the dues for the Downriver Community Conference and the Downriver Mutual Aid uh, for the 2019-2020 year. Uh, funds are budgeted and the amounts are unchanged from prior years. So moved. Support. It's been moved and supported. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Thank you. Next item is from our um, Human Resources Director, Mr. Lobb, MERS authorized signatures. This is uh, more of a housekeeping item, if you will. MERS historically had individuals listed to approve their uh, or to sign their contracts and, and so forth. They are moving to a position-based um, authorization. So this is authorizing the Human Resources Director, City Administrator, and Controller to Signed documents on behalf of the city. <coughs> I would so move. Support. It's been moved and supported. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Human resources again for ICMA RC amendment to voluntary benefit 457B retirement plan um, dash loans. Mr. Lobb? This is uh, an item to create parity between our um, 457 platforms or. Um, that we have within the city, it's going to allow the individuals, if they so choose, to take a loan from their 457 plan. Um, right now, we do not allow it, but the city does not have any uh, financial um, interest inside the accounts. Uh, none of our money goes into it, so it's strictly employee money. Um, I did bring it to the Benefits Committee uh, for concurrence, and they did concur with uh, the recommendation and if you're not familiar with the benefits committee it's comprised of a representative from each of the bargaining units as well as someone from the non-union and also has um, representatives from all of the buildings within the city so they have uh, so they can have the information to share with their employees within each building so move support it's been moved and supported is there any discussion Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is from our Parks and Recreation Director, Mrs. Gagne, for the dash, plat dash platform recommendation, please. Thank you, Madam Mayor. <clears throat> for the past several uh, past year and a half, the Parks and Recreation Department has been researching new registration and scheduling software for the department. We are currently using Max Galaxy, which is very limited and is currently not supported by Google Chrome, and um, it will no longer be supported by Internet Explorer in the very near future. It does use uh, Silverlight, which um, will not be uh, supported. Um, our staff has done an exhaustive review of numerous registrations and scheduling platforms to ensure the best possible fit for our complex needs. And based upon this research, we are recommend, recommending to enter into a service agreement with Sports IT Incorporated doing business as DASH. The DASH platform was built on a keen understanding of the complex needs of parks and recreation and sporting complexes like ice arenas and provides a comprehensive approach to addressing these needs. Um, DASH's dynamic scheduling capabilities, efficient registration and reporting services, and uncomplicated customer interface provides a powerful and refreshing approach to enhancing our department's overall efficiencies and effectiveness. Um, attached is, for your consideration is a copy of the proposed service agreement. The terms of this agreement include a three-year commitment, uh, set up and data transfer, on-site training, and unlimited user stations and support services. Uh, we were able to negotiate a very favorable price of $1,166 per month subscription fee. Currently, we are paying $1,000 per month for the Max Galaxy uh, platform. This negotiated price is a 20, uh, over a 20% discounted rate from the original proposed, um, proposed fee. Uh, the agreement also includes a one-time onboarding fee estimated at $1,800 and an in-person training at $900 per day, which is estimated to be a four-day training, plus expenses. And we estimate that these one-time fees will uh, average approximately $6,500.
We did reach out to three Michigan-based agencies that are currently using the DASH platform, including High Velocity Sports of Canton, Wide World Sports Center of Ann Arbor, and Legacy Sports Complex of Brighton. And all three facilities gave this platform raving reviews um, and they highly recommended the, the platform. Our city attorney, Wallace Long, has also reviewed the service agreement to ensure that it meets city standards. And based on this information, we are respectfully recommending your approval to enter into a three-year service agreement with Sports IT Incorporated doing business as DASH. Monies are available in the following ac accounts which have been earmarked for um, technology services um, and there are number of different account accounts at the recreation budget 101691818.001, the marina budget 101-693-75.00, the pool account 101-697-757.000 and the technology account of 101-930-934.001 and the Kennedy Recreation Center budget of 208-696-727.000. And your consideration is greatly appreciated. So moved. Support. It's been moved and supported. Is there any discussion? Councilman Perugi? Ms. Kenny, is this budget neutral? Um, it, it is. Um, it, it, it's a slight increase from what uh, we currently pay, but we have monies available in those accounts that I listed that should be able to cover these ex additional expenses. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Councilman Benedetti? But it wasn't budgeted when we did the budget this year, right? So you're taking it from these accounts because you knew you were going to do it, or when when did we decide we we're going to start doing this? Well, we we have been um, looking for over a year and a half um, at different platforms. The Max Galaxy uh, platform, um, they have been telling us that they were going to be up grading the Max Galaxy platform. Um, they have yet to do that, and we do not based on on the. Um, the lack of response that we have gotten from the company that we are under the impression that they will not be upgrading Max Galaxy. And so in lieu of that, we have looked at other alternatives um, and the Dash platform is ex well over and above what we currently have. Um, and uh, so the additional $2,000 that we're gonna be spending on this um, uh, subscription is well worth that investment. Okay. Any other discussion? Seeing none, it's unanimously so ordered. The only thing that I would ask is that maybe um, you could get the, the <coughs> auditors will probably be looking for what it costs in that motion. So um, we might want to get that, you know, the pricing of that inside this motion here. Wouldn't, wouldn't the auditors want the price of this in there? Um, I think in, as part That's of the motion, yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Because uh, when they go to check to make sure what's been approved, you know, okay. so if you could add okay. that to it. Sure. All right, okay. thank you. Very good, thank you. Um, next item on the agenda is um, I'm going to defer to our um, Mayor Pro Tem, Councilman, Councilman Lefevre, uh, for the authorized disperse, disbursements, the reports, and the, and the reports. Thank there you. you go. Make a motion that we authorize disbursements dated November 4th, 2019, uh, $347,930. And 81 cents support it's been moved and supported is there any discussion seeing none it's unanimously so ordered uh, uh, go ahead reports my next, my next motion will be to receive and place in the file the planning commission public hearing and regular meeting minutes dated august 14 2019 and also the recreation commission meeting minutes dated september 18th 2019 support it's been moved and supported is there any discussion seeing none it's unanimously so ordered um, so we're going to go to other council, um, other council uh, business. I just have to see who I had last. Timber was last, so I'm going to go with Mr. Benedetti. Well, first, uh, so I keep seeing this thing that talks about if you need help breaking your lease, the seniors that the high school kids are out doing it. There's some groups. Can they just call City Hall and we'll take the information, and get it to them? 
Um, the best Where thing is the best that? if it's I think they have rake a difference that's over at the high school they have to call the high school and that right. number is six seven six eighty six hundred they need to ask for the high school number or press the okay. appropriate number yeah because I see it there and I want people to make sure they know they can get it because I'm sure there's a lot of seniors in town that need it um, besides that yeah with the leaves falling please be careful when you're driving and try to keep the sewers uncovered I know mr. Hogan would love us to help with that because <laughs> here we go they're gonna fall in a week's time right so and that's about it oh remember to vote tomorrow because it helps drive the future of the city very good councilman Lefevre. yeah tomorrow is the election uh, I am up for election and uh, I've enjoyed serving the past uh, 30 years 29 29 last 29 years I hope to continue for more I've enjoyed, I thank all the residents for calling me and sharing their opinions with me, as well as my fellow uh, council people up here in the mayor and all the department heads. I've enjoyed it, and I uh, hope you go out, and most importantly, go out there and vote and uh, make your vote count. It's going to be a big turnout, it sounds like, okay? And uh, so Kyle's up, I'm up, and Rick is, Rick Nelson's up, okay? And Debbie, are you up too? Mm-hmm. You have some opponents. Debbie, Mike, and uh, John are all up, but they have no opponents. Good luck to all of you, okay? They're running unopposed. 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 I do want to talk about Nelson. I've been sitting here for eight years, Nelson. Eight years? Or four years? Four years. Four years at a different place we were. But anyway, he's done a great job. I really appreciate sitting next to Nelson. And I appreciate the help you've given me over the last four years, Nelson. And I hope you're sitting here. hope we're sitting here together. Okay. You may not feel that way, but I do. Okay, you know what I'm saying? All right, you know. But uh, yeah, and, and that's all it is. It's been it's been a great place. It's a great city, and uh, thank you for letting me serve. Okay. I'd be remiss to make sure that I'd ask this next question, Bill. You done? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Also. Okay. And remind me. Well, th <laughs> thank you for the kind words, Bill. And just like everybody else has alluded to, it's election day tomorrow, and please vote. And uh, nothing gets done if you don't um, vote. So make make a difference. And thank you for those who have voted for, for me in the past, and I hope to have the opportunity to serve in the future. Very good. That's not me. Nope. Oh. Councilwoman Von Crooks. Yep. As you guys all said, it's election day. We all know that. It's one of my favorite days of the year. It's like Christmas Day for me. I just love this. But uh, good luck to all the candidates. I know everybody's worked hard, whether you're sitting here or not. Everybody's got their heart in the right place. And... Uh, to you, Mayor Stack, my good friend, you've done a great job for this city in the last eight years, and uh, you've led a lot of great projects that were tough decisions to make, and along with this council, and you've worked well with all of us, so good luck to you, and thank you for always taking care and putting the city first. Thank Thanks. You. That's it. Councilman Benedetti. No, I'm not. You gave me the first crack. Oh, that's right. I did. I was giving you a we'll second one. I'll take his turn. I'll take his third crack. Okay. Um, I would also like to thank everybody that's uh, supported me and also in the past uh, working with all of you. Um, I'm not sure who will be up here when we come back uh, the next time, but um, I appreciate all the help that everybody's given to me over the years and also to um, to uh, the people that have served. You guys all have had your heart in the right place and wanting to help our city. So I appreciate it and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Also, I'd like to um, mention the City Awards is coming up for Saturday, January 18th. Um, we have the Trenton Knight of the Year, Good Neighbor of the Year, Senior Citizen of the Year, Outstanding Woman, Outstanding Man, Outstanding Trenton Youth, and also the Charlie Brown Award. So if, you have, if you've got a neighbor that you think is outstanding, um, the forms, I believe, you can get those online through the uh, Recreation Department, or you can um, also, um, I think they're on our website um, when it comes down to it, too. But if you don't, if you can't get it on the website, I'm sure that there's um, some, where can we pick these up at, at the Recreation? Do we have any out here? Okay, we'll, we'll try to make sure we have them. If not, you can stop in my office. I'll make sure that they're there if, so, if you'd like to um, actually um, put in the nomination for one of those um, people to that have been outstanding for you and for other people also um, Zachary blow um, he um, I went to his Eagle Scout um, ceremony that they had on Saturday and he did a great job um, he made a um, 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that because I'm going to bring hopefully bring him back here to be able to discuss it. But uh, they had a great uh, turnout at Westfield for him, and uh, he should be very proud, and his parents very proud of what he's done. Um, the Exchange Club had their spaghetti dinner yesterday. Um, it was well attended, so um, they are um, having that. They usually have it in the winter or the fall and the spring. I don't know if they've eliminated the spring one, but they have. Uh, they just had this this last weekend, and spaghetti was good, so <coughs> it's a good thing. Um, other than that, um, I'm going to defer to our city clerk. Anything? I, too, would just like to remind everybody that the city general election is tomorrow. Polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Our next city council meeting will be on Monday, November 18th, with an inauguration ceremony at 6 p.m. and the regular council meeting at 7. Thank you. Our city assessor, Mr. Dawkins, do you have anything? Madam Mayor, thank you, but I do not. Our city treasurer, Mr. McCullough. Yeah, just a couple short items. Uh, I want to thank, uh, in fact, most of the people sitting in the front there for your continued support for the Trenton Educational Foundation. Uh, this is the ninth annual signature event coming up on November 15th. Everybody's invited. If you support the schools and the kids, which we all do, uh, I invite you to come support them, see and welcome the folks that are up for the Wall of Fame. Uh, that's uh, will be, and then we'll also, uh, I think, showcase the uh, uh, award or many grants from the for the teachers as well. So I invite you. We have tickets here at City Hall. We have tickets also at the uh, school board. So thank you for your support. Uh, just shows what the community and the caring citizens working together uh, can do. So thank you very much. Thank you. Come and buy a cash cab um, ticket from me because that's what I'm running at that particular event. Um, I did want to let you know that um, Councilman Rosepa has informed me that he won't be able to make it tonight, so I just wanted everyone to know just so Debbie knows that she's not waiting for him to come. Okay, um, department heads, do we have anybody that would like to announce to the public? My foot fell asleep, sorry. <laughs> I wanted to uh, address um, Councilman Benedetti uh, on the re raking of the leaves. If anyone is out there and they're uh, they they need help, they can't they can't get the leaves, uh, leaves raked. There's a, a organization that's called Go Impact 360. So it's all, if you're on Facebook or if you're on let's say a Google search, if you put G O Impact I M P A C T 360, all one word, it'll bring you to their Facebook page. They're uh, they're a downriver uh, uh, organization. They've got hundreds of volunteers, and I, I guess they're up to over 200, or maybe maybe a little bit less than that yards that they're doing this fall. So they've, that helps you out. They'll, they have the application right online there too. And also um, on set, last Saturday we had the uh, was it last Saturday? The Saturday before last we had the drug take back. And since uh, we since March of 18 and that day. Uh, we collected 242 pounds of prescription pills. That's wow. just the pills, none of the bottles, anything like that. It's just all pills, and we turn them over to the DEA. So <laughs> it is making some, uh, I hope that's making an impact. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Any other department heads? If not, is, uh, is now is open for the public to speak. If they would like to speak, please state your name and address for the record, and uh, please leave it, keep it to five minutes nobody I'm looking for an adjournment I would so move Support. it's been moved and supported at I don't know. 734 yeah.